Hi, welcome to the Shreveport Connection with Tommy. My report uh, today is going to be on Re uh, the WrestleMania weekend Resu uh, results from fan access along with the Hall of Fame ceremony. Okay, but I'm going to give you some news uh, prior to, uh, to that. <coughs> Todd Grisham and others will be at WrestleMania Access uh, uh, during the week filming segments for Friday's SmackDown as they show, showed it, not much on, on it. Access kicked off uh, uh, Wednesday at the Georgia Dome uh, with, uh, World, at the World Congress Center in Atlanta from 6 p.m. until 10 p.m. There was an incident at last week's uh, WWE Live event in Evansville, Indiana, where fans got hurt after Sheamus and Daniel Bryan crashed into a ringside fan barrier. One of the fans really, uh, was really upset until Dean Malenko came out and invited him to go backstage and meet some of the, a lot of the uh, WWE stars. <clears throat> the fan noted that uh, Jerry Lawler and a WWE trainer looked over his knee while John Cena, Randy Orton, and others spoke to him personally. And took photos with him. Seamus uh, came in and apologized, and then gave the fan his his signed T-shirt that he wore that evening. Uh, in regards to the WWE article on Abdul the Butcher Hall of Fame induction, that was changed to say he never had dream matches with Hulk Hogan or Bret Hart. Abdullah did wrestle both men. However, it was not in WWE. It was in New Japan. And, and he wrestled Hart in Stampede Wrestling. Okay, and uh, WWE's new DX DVD that came, uh, is coming out in a few days. After WrestleMania, there is a segment where Triple H and Shawn Michaels make, make fun of each other for losing to The Undertaker. So there you go. There's, there's your spoiler for tonight's WrestleMania. Triple H noted that Taker always beat, beat Sean, and when and Sean responded that Taker beat Triple H too, Triple H acted as if it's something he's he tried to forget. While they didn't mention uh, WrestleMania in the conversation, the impression uh, given is that they, they were talking about the match at WrestleMania 27, not the previous match, matches. Jerry Lawler was reportedly told that he cannot use his, his finishing move the pile driver in his match with uh, Michael Cole tonight at WrestleMania. It, uh, as you know, that uh, pile driver is his finishing move. Or actually one of his finishing moves. Uh, okay, here's one of your fan access matches. Yoshi Tatsu defeated Jesse Gabriel in a singles bout during Friday night's uh, or Friday afternoon's WrestleMania access session. WrestleMania match ordered has been changed, and the following matches are the last four to go on tonight at WrestleMania 27. As of 2 p.m. Eastern Time this afternoon, the script now calls for Jim Ross to come out, and then Jerry Lawler versus Michael Cole is to take place. They will be followed by Undertaker versus Triple H. That match will be followed by the eight-man eight, eight tag team match. And then finally, John Cena vs. The Miz with The Rock's involvement at the end will close the show. Talent and officials from Florida Championship Wrestling are on hand for WrestleMania 27 in case they are needed for extra roles, such as I heard uh, and read uh, from several d different wrestling sites. There will be an extra match added to WrestleMania, as I predicted two weeks ago, a battle royal. Still is not worth the $60 that anybody's going to pay for it. Okay, Tommy Dreamer, Lita, and Ernest Miller were all among those visiting the WWE crew at their hotel in Atlanta this weekend. Vladimir Kozlov has been wearing an, his, an arm sling in Atlanta this weekend to sell his injury from the uh, core from last week's uh, SmackDown event where he was attacked at Access on Saturday morning, as well, uh, that was yesterday. Cody Rhodes is also keeping in character this weekend while he's out and about wearing his protective face mask. As noted before, WWE officials have decided to stop using the word wrestling in their name. The company has issued an internal, internal memo 
that the word wrestling is no longer to be used in any way, shape, or form. From here on out, WWE's promotional material will refer to them as WWE Inc. and not World Wrestling Entertainment. This goes for everything from posters to books and commentary on WWE programming. As noted before, Awesome Kong, who is predicted to appear at WrestleMania, she is there in Atlanta this weekend. Uh, she has signed a, uh, to a WWE deal and it has been spotted in Atlanta a while. She hasn't been confirmed yet. She will not be debuting. The news that, that she's in town doesn't mean as much as pe people are speculating. But uh, she has been at, uh, at the events, uh, live events uh, and what have you backstage. TV tapings backstage and nothing. They didn't do nothing with it then. So, okay. Uh, WWE brings uh, pretty much everyone signed into the company for WrestleMania weekend, whether they're performing at WrestleMania events or not. This doesn't mean that Kong won't debut this weekend, but being signed to a WWE deal, she will most likely be in town anyways. As noted before, Vladimir Kozlov defeated Tyler Rex at yesterday's WrestleMania access session where the injury angle was, was shot. The other match today, or actually uh, yesterday, was well, there was two of them. Drew McIntyre, yes, Drew McIntyre defeated Chris Masters. And it wasn't Tyler Rex all the time. Shawn Michaels and his, and his wife Rebecca are celebrating their 12th wedding anniversary this week. As he, is, he was inducted to the Hall of Fame last night, uh, Shawn's entire family is in Atlanta to witness the, his induction and enjoy the WrestleMania 27 festivities. Matches at this afternoon's WrestleMania Access in Atlanta saw Chavo Guerrero defeat Heath Slater and a great call he defeated Zack Ryder. WWE has posted footage from of James Laronitis discussing his father the Ro, uh, Ro, um, Road Warrior animals inducted to the Hall of, WWE Hall of Fame Animal was recently asked on Twitter if James would be doing any wrestling, and he replied that they have talked about it. And or not, there's a, uh, a video I will show, I will try and show at the end of this report. <clears throat> and Ric Flair and Ricky's team boat arrived together. Road Warrior Animal is sitting with Sunny. Everyone is making their way, and this is truly an awesome sight. I uh, uh, spotted JBL. Kevin Nash on Walkman, it looked like, to Stratus, Steve Austin, and others. Uh, this is your Hall of Fame ceremonies report, as is, is I'm going into it. Jerry Lawler is, is hosting the ceremony. Hulk Hogan's name got a bad reaction. Lawler introduced the first induction, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Ted DiBiase Sr. came out to induct Duggan. Ted talked about Duggan's football career and his wrestling days and in fight against cancer. Duggan came out to an ovation and, and talked about getting into, into the business. He ended his speech with a promo against the terrorists with fight and, and he trademarked. Oh! Duggan's speech was met with lots of USA chants from the crowd. Other people we uh, they sp uh, spotted uh, from the live interaction uh, included Stephanie McMahon, Linda McMahon, Wendy Richter, Lex Luger, who is skinny, uh, DDP Charmel, who was there, and she was up. She actually did a drawing, or there was a drawing of her, and she, they raised $900 for her, for a charity. Booker T, of course, was there, Pat Patterson. Just about everybody was there. Road Dog Jesse James, Scott Armstrong, Brian, and Brad Armstrong came out to induct their father, Bullet Barb Armstrong. Great reaction from the, uh, from the fans, for for BG James, who doesn't look much different from, from his DX and TNA days, this induction was way shorter than, than Duggan's. A, a fan at this point was ejected for, uh, by security for yelling. Huh, way to go. All of WWE Divas are out now to induct Sunny. Layla and Michelle McCool put, over, bit, uh, over, put her over big as the original Diva. Nice touch with the Divas, inducted Sonny, and a good speech by her. 
the Divas hung around on stage with her. Sunny talked about her late husband, Chris Candido, and getting into the wrestling business. She said after tonight, there will, there is no debate on who the original Diva is anymore. Ashley notes that uh, only Lay Cool spoke, but the entire uh, Diva roster was present for the induction. Uh, speaking of Ashley, that's the person who sent in, sent in the report. Lawler introduced Terry Funk next, who talked about his, his, his history with Abdullah the Butcher. Funk is great, uh, great on, on the mic, as usual. Abdullah the Butcher was introduced next for a, another short speech. Abdullah got got emotional and cried when talking about his family and talked about getting the call from WWE. He had his trademark fork with him. Big big pop from Abdullah from the crowd. He thanked God, the fans, and his family. Road Warriors and Paul Ellering are being inducted next. Their name gets a huge reaction at first. Dusty Rhodes comes out to induct them but puts over how important they are to tag team wrestling. Dusty has the best speech of, of the night so far. <clears throat> huge LOD chance as a Animal and Paul Ellering come out. Ellering and a Animal have an a action figure of, of the late Hawk on the podium to commemorate him. Animal did most of the, their speech and he and Ellering talked about Hawk. Animal talked about the day Hawk died. They thank their friends and, and family. Great, great moment. Drew Carey is up next. He gets booed during his vid video and his jokes. Kane comes out to induct him, which we thought uh, everybody was uh, thinking it was going to be Bob Barker himself. Drew said he doesn't care about, about, about the boos. Okay, Triple H is out next to induct Shawn Michaels. Triple H comes out and to his King of Kings theme and put his friend Shawn over more than anyone else says in their speeches tonight. He says Shawn won't admit that he's in the he's in the Hulk Hogan hair club for men. He's also called Shawn the greatest performer he's ever seen. He got emotional and, and told Shawn he loved him. Triple H talked about how their history together and gave, gave HBK a new nickname, Mr. Hall of Fame. Triple H has had the longest speech, yet probably. Sean is out next to a huge standing ovation from the crowd. Sean joked about how nervous he was. Michael thanked everyone and said that there was one name he, he should thank, but he couldn't say the name, obviously referring to Ric Flair. The crowd wooed at this. Sean thanked the WWE Universe, his family, the WWE talents, and God. Create a great speech by HBK. Uh, they show the uh, candid side of himself we don't see very often. Sean left to DX Music and was joined on stage by Triple H, Sean Walman, and Kevin Nash. So a special appearance by X-Pop. And for those that don't know, he was also one, two, three kid. Okay, now to uh, give give you the video. I think it was uh, let's see, where is it at? Copy. Okay, uh, before I get to the video, there's a wrestling fan site that you can chat with the actual real wrestlers. They, they uh, set it up this week. I got an uh, invitation from Undertaker himself, and so uh, therefore I'm in love with him, Sting and AJ Styles. And just today, I was uh, sent a message from none other than Angelina Love. And the site is wrestling-fans.socialgo.com. <clears throat> okay, now to get to the video. Which, of course, it does not show up. 
Okay, let me find it. Give me a few seconds, a few seconds. I believe this is it. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to post it into this. All right, this, it's about a minute and 22 seconds, and here it is. My name is Dave Florinitis. I'm a middle linebacker with the St. Louis Rams, and uh, I'm just here supporting my father, Road Warrior Animal, uh, one half of the Legion of Doom. And, uh, it's induction into the Hall of Fame. I'm going to stay quiet because the sound is very low. So A nice little short video. And thanks for viewing and stay tuned uh, later tonight for your WrestleMania live report. Well, actually not live, but it'll be live for me and Marek for y'all. Sorry about that. <laughs>